Hello everybody and welcome to Clear Path Guidance and Tarot. I decided to do another couple. I'm going to do a reading on Donald Trump and Melania Trump. See how that goes. Um, I do know more about them. Of course, everyone knows who Donald Trump is. I followed them, but you know, like again, I don't have a whole lot of time to keep up on all the um, ins and outs of their relationship, but I'll try and do a reading here on the two of them. Um, there's a lot going on with these two. So right away when I get, um, okay, when I think about Melania, I feel she resents Donald. I feel up until he became president, she really enjoyed being married to him because she was very, very far in the background. When she married Donald, um, I got this feeling of, he's in the spotlight, let him be there. She liked being in the background. She liked being the one that was, like, and I don't know what kind of a career she had, but I get this woman that really kind of took a back seat and is happy in the back seat, happy to be on his arm, um, look after the home, look after the child, um, do the daily, uh, uh, the daily tasks of supporting her husband. She was fine with him being the apprentice and being the celebrity and being the business person. She wanted to be left out of all of that. She kind of likes that being left at the door and him coming home and um, uh, just having the relationship together, the both of them. That That's what she kind of signed up for when she married him. So I felt that it really ran well pre um, president, presidency. So she really liked that a lot. I felt that there was a, a good balance at that time. She, he left her alone, you know, to kind of do her own thing. And, uh, she left him alone to do his own thing. And I found that, the, I find that the balance was really, really nice. So now, um, so I don't feel there was a whole lot of issues there between them. So now, he is president. Uh, I feel that she has been kind of thrown into this whirlwind. She's been thrown into something that she really didn't sign up to do and doesn't know how to. She tries her best. I feel she's doing she's doing a good job as, as being um, a first lady, but the two of them, this has really put a lot of pressure on them. Now she's kind of, it's like when I picture Melania, it's like someone shoving her out onto a stage and act, asking her to perform. Like, uh, like, like a, when you, you know, kind of, when the way I look at it is when you, I picture this little four or five year old girl and the mother pushing her out on the stage and she doesn't want to go and the mother going, you'll be fine. You'll be fine. Just go ahead. That's kind of what I get. This reluctancy, this resistance. She really doesn't want to do it. But when you get her out on the stage, she's okay. So, but she doesn't want to do this. And I feel like she's been kind of thrown into this and rather just kind of, you know, like um, I, I have read that she doesn't want to be in the White House, that she lives in New York or something like that. That's where she's comfortable. She's comfortable there with her child and leaving, leading her life normally. These, expect these expectations and these um, responsibilities that have been put on her, she doesn't want. So I think she tries to the best of her ability. So this has has really kind of, I feel like, put a rift between the two of them. I feel there are sides of her husband that has come out that she doesn't like. And um, I don't feel she's happy anymore. I feel she's just kind of putting on a show. She is um, putting on a brave face when she's out in public with him. She's not happy. She's not happy with that role. And I think it spills over into the marriage now. And um, I think when I think about Donald, I think he is trying to somehow fix this before it gets worse. Fix this before I feel like I feel like as soon as this is over, she's just like, I'm done. I'm like, you no, know, as soon as soon as this his term is up, if, I don't know if he gets reelected or not. I think she's playing the part of the wife and all that stuff. But I feel that as soon as this is over, I feel she, I feel she'll be gone. Uh, and when I think about Donald, I think he, I think he sees the writing on the wall and he's trying 
I don't know if the word is fix it because I don't think he can fix this. But from here on in, I feel like he's really trying to mm, protect her or keep her from the limelight. I mean, there's certain duties that he can, um, that he can't protect her from or make her not do because there's certain things that she has to do. But he, it's getting to the point where he just knows. He just knows that this, she does not want to be doing this anymore. And um, I feel that, I feel like the marriage is somewhat irreparable. And she can hardly wait for this to be over. So I, I feel she will be gone when that, when this is all over. And I, th I feel like Donald knows it. Um, like, it's really hard to ground myself to this situation. I don't know why. I get that she's, it's like she has no interest in, like, in, in, in going further in this relationship. I don't think she is nurturing her relationship with her husband anymore. Um, I feel like it's so out of hand now as far as the relationship. It's just, I feel like it's so broken. She's not even trying anymore. That's kind of what I, I, it kind of reminds me of um, Princess Diana and Charles when they were forcing it, like when they had to be out in public. I feel like that's what I get. I get in public, they look like they're together, you know, they're putting up with each other's, they're putting up with each other and that's about it. And then behind closed doors, it's like gone. One on one side of the house, one on the other side of the house, but they're completing their obligations as far as their duties. That's this is kind of like the exact same um, vibration I'm getting. So I would not be surprised. Now I'm not saying she's going to leave them or anything like that, but right now with the energies that I feel, I don't feel this is a good relationship. I don't feel that Melania is happy. He's still okay. He's he's um still, you know, happy to have her in his life. Um, but I do I, I with the energies today as they are, I don't feel that she wants to continue. And I don't feel she's working on it anymore. I really feel that she's just kind of gone off on her own. This is behind closed doors, of course, and just doing her own thing. All right, so that's what I get between the two of them. I feel that, um, I don't feel this is repairable. I don't. Okay, so I will shuffle my cards, see what comes up. It's very scrambled up. I, I, uh, I don't know. Let's see here. What are the messages regarding Melania and Donald Trump? Melania and Donald Trump. All right. Melania and Donald Trump. What are the messages regarding Melania and Donald Trump? read the clarity cards and the jumpers all right now I'm just gonna get my information out here okay so Melania and Donald Trump first card I get is the four of pentacles the four of pentacles is about a desire for long-term long -term security and it's a fear of change now you can see this man is holding on to these pentacles all right, so what it means is that this person isn't wanting to give. Because it's a relationship reading, I feel that she's not wanting to give emotionally. She's holding on to her feelings. She is not sharing. Mm -mm. You can, I just feel that she's not nurturing the relationship. She's not giving anything to Donald. She resents him. 
and she is, uh, I, I just get this resentment between the two of them and I really feel this rift between the two of them. Okay, so the Four of Pentacles is about um, that. It's a, it's just about a desire for long-term security. It's a fear of change. She didn't like the change. She feared it, and she still doesn't like it. And she's holding on. Um, she's not sharing her emotions or feelings. Then we have the Wheel of Fortune, and the Wheel of Fortune is, um, uh, it's about a good fortune. It's about a turning point. Um, I don't feel this is good fortune for her. I feel that this was a turning point in the relationship where she didn't like. So I think to me, I feel like this is a, a turn of bad fortune. If, if, if you want to put it that way, not that, you know, like that has nothing to do with money. It's just, this was not an unfortunate event for her. Okay. And then here we have the queen of swords. The queen of swords is a, um, woman that makes decisions based on thought and reason, not emotion. All right, the Queen of Swords is a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius female. Now again, I did not look up her birth date. Don't message me and tell me, um, I can't believe you did it without the birth date because I honestly don't want to know much information when it comes to these people, all right? Um, so this woman here will defend whoever comes after what she has and she will attack anyone who comes for her, okay? Or anything like, you know, children, property, that kind of a thing. Let's just see what Melania's birthday is. Melania Trump birthday. April 26th. So, April 26th, I think she's a Taurus, Taurus, okay, so she is not, she is not representing the typical um, Libra, um, what did I say, Gemini or uh, Virgo, sorry, Libra, Gemini or Aquarius, but this is her attitude. Okay, in the relationship. I feel like she has been something has been taken away from her in this relationship. Okay. All right. What does Donald feel for Melania? What does Donald feel for Melania? What does Donald feel for Melania? I hope I'm pronouncing her name right. What does Donald feel for Melania? Melania. What does Donald feel for Melania. Does Donald feel for Melania? Oops. Does Donald feel for Melania? So what does Donald feel for Melania? There's the Nine of Cups. The Nine of Cups is about wishes coming true, material abundance, good health. He looks at her like, my wish is coming true with this woman. All right? It's exactly... he. She played the perfect role. She was the perfect sort of wife before he became president. But it's like, you can tell here with this card, it's like all his cups are full. There's nine cups here. They're full. He's happy. He He's happy. He, like... He's happy with her that, you know, like obviously pick the woman, you know, but his dreams, I felt like his dreams came true with this woman. Perfect in every sense. Okay. Then we have the three of wands. What does he feel for her? So the three of wands is about teamwork, commerce, expansion. He still wants that teamwork with her. He wants to expand with her commerce, all of that. So he, he is still happy to have her in his life. He's just, I think he sees the writing on the wall. All right. And he's still looking forward. Um, to a life with her. You can see he's looking off into the distance. And then there's the sun. All right, how does he feel for her? The sun, it's about material happiness. It's about joyous outcome. Um, he's looking, uh, he sees her, the sun in his life, you know, is still being bright and wants to continue forth with her. Okay, all right. 
Let's see what Melania feels for Donald. What does Melania feel for Donald? 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 He, st he still loves her. I mean, he really does. Um, she loves him, but she, this is too much for her. Too much has happened. I feel like a lot of things happened um, and very quickly. What does Melania feel for Donald? What does Melania feel for Donald? bright again. I don't know why it gets so bright and then dark. What does Melania feel for Donald? Two cards. Put that back. Just take one. Let one fall out. What does Melania feel for Donald? Okay. All right. Okay, what does Melania feel for Donald? There's the Four of Cups. So bright. All right, so Four of Cups. I'm going to shut this light off. Maybe that will help. All right, there's, mm, that's no better. Four of Cups. The Four of Cups is about feeling unfulfilled. Okay, you can see, I'm going to try and do this a little bit. No, that doesn't work. All right. Um, you can see this cup is being handed to this person. This person, um, uh, there's three cups here that are sitting here. This card is when you have everything in life that you need and you're still feeling unfulfilled. This is her. This is how she feels with Donald. She has everything in her life that she needs, but she's not feeling fulfilled. There's the gift getting handed to him and he doesn't care. He doesn't see it. His eyes are closed, I believe, and doesn't see the gifts before him. So it's her. I'm not saying she's ungrateful or anything like that, but she's not fulfilled by this life that she has. Then there's the Seven of Pentacles. This is about patience, hard work, delayed success. It's waiting to um, enjoy the fruits of your labor. So this person has planted the seed, watered, weeded, um, fertilized, and is still not seeing the fruits of their labor. So here she is. She started this life with Donald um, and she's still not feeling successful. N not successful, but happy. All right. This is her. Um, same thing. She's done all the right things and she's not enjoying her life. And then we have the Seven of Cups, which is about your head being in the clouds. Too many choices. You've got seven cups here, all filled with very nice things. You've got money in one. You have um, a dove, which means peace. You have a rainbow. You have all kinds of very nice things. And there's too much to pick from. It's like having your head in the clouds, being scrambled up, not being able to commit to one thing. She's, I feel like she's not grounded. Okay. We have the seven of cups. We have the seven of pentacles. Let's see what sevens mean in the tarot deck. All right. What does the number seven mean in tarot? Um... The number seven is an indicator of both the thing we most want and the unexpected delivery.
Sevens indicate the wait for something we imagine. This number also represents a coming delivery of what we were waiting for, even if not quite what we thought it was. So this kind of makes sense because she's waiting for something and um, she's waited, but it's it's not what she was signed up for. It's not what it was. So um, I feel I feel she's not really giving much to uh, to Donald anymore. You know, as far as growing this relationship, and uh, I'm not saying she's a bad person. I'm not saying either of Mara, but this is what happened in the relationship when they went from being celebrity to now um, the president and first lady. It's not what she wanted, and she really has a hard time with that and I feel that she kind of blames Donald for this you know for making her kind of do something she didn't want to do she's not comfortable there she's comfortable just being a wife and mother that's what she wanted to do okay all right I hope you guys enjoyed this reading um comment on who you'd like to see again I'm getting them I'm making a list so uh uh I'm putting them down so it's going to take some time to get to certain people you know like to get to get through them all so anyhow so if you'd like a personal reading please email me uh, my email will be at the bottom of the video and I'll get back to you within 24 hours I do relationship readings um, that's my specialty reading people just what you saw here is what I do when I do a reading and then I do a tarot spread all right okay thanks for watching I hope you guys are enjoying these videos okay bye bye